Pharmacy, and she is here with Joe Adams, the past chair of the NABP, and a pharmacist who has lost his own son to prescription drug abuse. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Jeannie, I will begin with you, and let's talk about what segment or segments of our population are uh, most likely to fall into this opioid abuse. Well, everyone is susceptible. No one's immune. It crosses across, again, across every social economic group, regardless of background or age. Now, that is uh, staggering to think about, especially as we see 64,000 lives lost in a year and what, 19 million people using these sorts of drugs. What, are, what kinds of drugs are we talking about? Well, well, we're looking mostly, uh, the, the ones that we seem to be losing the most lives from are, are the opiate class of drugs right now. Uh, then you also have uh, the sedatives, tranquilizers, and your uh, amphetamines uh, that are being highly abused as well. Why are these so available in such a great number to people? They're so easily acquired. Well, that's one thing that uh, the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy in conjunction with the Federation of State Medical Boards and the National Council on Nursing Boards, uh, we're working hand in hand to, one, educate each of our professions and, and looking at our prescribing and dispensing habits uh, as well to, to help reduce this outbreak, this out epidemic. Well, Jeannie and, or Joe, either one, when we are prescribed these sorts of medications, what questions should we be asking of our pharmacist? Well, you need to be asking your pharmacist about how you should take this, uh, what are side effects, uh, what would happen uh, if, uh, what, what do I know, how do I need to store this? Many of these prescriptions are being stolen out of people's medicine cabinets and that's the number one area that we're seeing these prescription drugs uh, disappear from. So everyone needs to, to either lock up their medicine cabinets and uh, make sure that those are not available out on the counters for anybody just to walk in their homes and take. Uh, also, uh, when you're talking to your pharmacist, just make sure that you let them know that you are very interested in what's happening and, and let them give you some information about anything like this that you feel that you need to be more informed about. One of the questions that I have as a consumer is, are there other medications that would serve the population just as well, if not better, than the opioids? Well, there, there are other classes of medications out there, and that's something that uh, you, the pharmacist, and, and the physician need to discuss. Uh, there are alternative products available that may uh, relieve your pain level. Joe and Jeannie, first of all, thank you both for coming to talk to us about this and giving us some education. Where can we send our viewers for more information if they have questions? Uh, certainly they can go to the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy, and that website is nabp.pharmacy. Thank you both again for all this important information. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this.